How's it going guys? Got my coils for the uh, uh, twin Briggs & Strand Narco project. Just gave them a quick clean in the front. Just got rid of the uh, buildup of like dust and dirt. You know, they were on lawnmowers. That's basically what they were. Um, the date of 2003. So they're 10 year old coils. Beats the one from 1977 and the one from 1959, I can tell you that. But the purpose of these is to eliminate the points. Uh, you can see it's got a magnetic pickup here and here. So with that said, you bolt these things on. We're going to set the air gap. And that's it. It's almost like a plug and play, but there's nothing to plug. The only thing you do plug into is you got the kill switch wire. That's it. They look like they're fully intact. The guy said they worked. I've bought stuff from them before and never had a problem. They were very inexpensive. Um, they're original Briggs and Stratton parts. I'd rather stick with the original Briggs and Stratton part than a uh, aftermarket one. So I'll see if he has any more. I'll probably pick up a spare set. They were that cheap. And uh, like I said, when we tear apart uh, into this engine, we'll put these on. We'll have them long running before that. I know the uh, orange engine, we started it up before we started working, that runs fine. This white engine, I started it up last, it's got to be two to three years ago, probably two years ago. And the gas was bad when it ran, uh, and before the gas was bad it ran fine. So we're going to stick with those, then when we break these engines down to paint them and put the gaskets on and stuff like that, we'll swap it over. Um, then if it doesn't start, then I know these are bad. Not that I wouldn't be able to figure it out, but um, and we are making a different plate. I'm not sticking with this plate. Uh, it's going to be the full size of the heads, with a whole board in it for the spark plugs, and a notch in it for the intake manifold. So I'm going to take off these pieces of tin here, and I'm going to just come right out to the outsides, straight across. Um, I don't know if it's pretty much needed. I think that's more than sufficient. Uh, but it'll look a lot nicer when we're done. And that's pretty much the bottom line. Um, and that's it. Like I, like I said in another video, I don't know how we're bolting it on yet. I really don't want to do it this way. Because if I have to do anything to an engine, I have to take a cylinder head off and then get another gasket. So I'm either going to stud this head, these heads, um, they have bolts with a stud sticking up on the top, but they seem to be very expensive. They seem to be $10 a piece, and there's eight. It's $160 to put the plane on. That's ridiculous. The mini bike's not going to cost $160, so that option's out. Or make a removable center section with bolts. So the main plates will bolt to the motor and have a flange. Um, don't really want to do that. Don't really want to do that. There's obstacles and stuff, so... I'm going to go just stud in the motor, basic studs, and double nut it, so, uh, that's it for now guys, it's late, it's, uh, 10 after 11, I'm calling it for the night, had enough excitement for one day, uh, and that's about it, I'll talk to you guys later.